Hey guys, welcome back to Daily Week the Builds, and today, in fact, all this week, it's going to be Lego City themed. <laughs> I do love that theme, but the three sets I'm doing this week, they all kind of share something in particular. Two of them mostly, but the other one kind of a little bit. And if we walk over to my build table backlog here, you know, this is a familiar site by now. You've seen what's going on here, right? But as I said, this week is mostly Lego City focused, so we're going to start off with this set here which retired last year, I think. It wasn't out for very long. And I don't remember the official name, but probably like Family House or something. Yeah, it's the Lego City House that came out last summer. Pretty cool, couple of minifigures. Nice looking modern home, actually. And the car looks pretty nice too, yeah. I kind of like everything that's going on with it. So that's what I'm gonna to build today. But in some other videos this week, I'm going to be building this one here, the Lego City apartment building. Pretty cool. Again, very modern, interesting. And lastly, I'll be building this really big one here, the downtown set, the biggest Lego City set ever released. <laughs> so that will be also the biggest Lego City set that I've built. Um, yeah, and this box was very heavy, which really surprised me. But yes, so I'll be building that one. As a little follow-up bonus feature, I'm going to be doing a video where I can kind of show you something pretty cool with all three of these sets. So stay tuned for that. But yeah, let's open this up and get building. A quick look on Brickset tells me that this set is called Family House and Electric Car. Because of course, there's your family house and there is your electric car. And they had a retail price of $46.99 here in the UK, but I managed to get it for £25 off Facebook. Brand new and sealed, so no complaints from me there. This set wasn't around for very long at all, only about six months, because it came out in June last year and it was retired by the end of the year. So you might not have been able to get it, but I'm sure you can find it on eBay or Facebook, just like I did. And here's what the back of the box looks like. And this set includes three minifigures. Ta-da! So we've got a sticker sheet, quite small, but with some nice little details there. And we've got a bag for some large plates, including one of these road plates as well. That'd be nice to see. Yeah, I like this. We've got bag five, four, three... Two, one, and instruction booklet, number three, and instruction booklet, number two, and instruction booklet, number one. Don't really know why I did a cool voice there, but there's a lot to this set, actually. As for the three instruction booklets, I couldn't tell you what builds what because the front cover just shows the same picture of the set. It's like a very inconsistent. Sometimes the instruction booklets will show the whole thing at once. Sometimes it'll show you each individual build. And just like with most LEGO sets these days, don't forget to scan the QR codes on your instructions on the LEGO Builder app. Answer a quick math question and then you'll be able to register your set to get 20 insider points. And you can do this little data survey. I mean, LEGO wants your data. That's why they're giving you points, right? But you can just skip it if you want to. Bag one is complete and I built the family car. And interestingly, you get all three minifigures in the first bag. Sometimes they go split minifigures up to multiple bags, but not this set. You get them all at once. And I really like all their torsos because I don't think I've seen them before. Uh, the one for the kid there, that's just perfect. A little dinosaur on it. I love that. The one for the dad as well, the jumper, that's really nice. Yeah, I like them all. They've got a nice, cute little dog. Don't see that very often these days. A Lego football and the little watering can here to water these flowers on the flower bed and a little goal for the football. I like the family car. It's kind of modern, but also typical of Lego City, probably over the last 10 years, I would say. But you can only fit one minifigure in it. So for a set that includes three minifigures, it's supposed to be a big family thing. You can only fit one minifigure in there. And according to the instructions, the car belongs to the mum. So maybe that's her work car or something. I don't think Lego City have made a vehicle this size and scale four wide. That can fit three minifigures in. I know they've done it with two, so it would have been nice to fit at least two minifigures in here, but you would have to kind of redesign the whole thing. But with these little bits out of the way, it's time to crack on with the main house itself. With bag two, you put together this little extension to the house. At first I thought, is it a greenhouse? And I guess it kind of is, but they've got a nice little table and chairs in there, and it's intended to connect on to the main portion of the house itself. So obviously you've got three walls here, but then this is all open because it will connect to the house. With a tomato plant in there and a carrot, and I think it's supposed to be a turnip as well in there. It's a nice little kitchen table. And then they've got some other plants growing up on the top there. But this is all open, so if it starts raining or there's some bad weather, it's going to get in down there. Bag three complete. We've built the little outside kind of walkway up to the front door, which leads directly into this open area where you've got the kitchen, nice looking kitchen, plenty of details and accessories in there. And then around the back, you've got this bathroom with a toilet and a shower. Just a quick interruption from me here. If you are getting value and you are enjoying this video, then please hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you. The house is beginning to come together, although it's not as modular as I expected it. I kind of thought the whole driveway and like little garage building would be separate. 
and then it kind of is until you lock it in place. So all this is one big modular section. This front little grass patch though, that you can take that off. But I was thought this would be a bit more separate. Though you can take the roof off. There you go. Ta-da. So that can come off, but the rest of it is all connected. And maybe I'm seeing this wrong, but it kind of looks like a shipping container to me. So maybe it's one of those modern conversions out of a shipping container which might explain the style and the size of it or maybe it's supposed to be some fancy modern paneling detailing feature they've got going here but i get shipping container vibes and here is everything all together all built and all finished so what do i think overall it's a nice looking little house actually i could easily imagine multiple of these in a row in like a new newly developed housing estate or something so it would be nice if i managed to get a couple more like at least three of them in a row i think could look quite cool of course it's a shame that as i said the car can only fit one minifigure in but apart from that it's a nice looking little car really and again the minifigures with some unique torso prints i think or at least some new ones from this set which i haven't seen before of course you've got the football there which just loves to roll around and will probably get lost so <laughs> keep careful of that and then the little puppy dog adorable the watering can to water the flowers there but yeah it looks quite nice although i talked about some of the modular features to this set and it doesn't have as many as I expected it to. So if we start off with the obvious ones, for example, the roof, which can be taken off and then opened out to get access to the interior. So there we've got the child's bedroom, which, I mean, the detail for the house is actually quite surprising. Nice little comfortable bed there, TV on the wall, playing some sort of video game with a controller, a little side table. And I'm guessing that's like a lava lamp. Pretty nice. And then you've got the parents' bedroom, big double bed for them. The mobile phone on the side of the bed, that's very accurate at least to me anyway and then they don't have a tv but they do have some plants on the wall and they do have more of the window space so that's pretty cool so that can fold in easily like that and there's also some solar panels on there as well and then of course you can take off the roof to the little extension or greenhouse whatever you want it to be so that's pretty basic you can also take off the roof of the car parking space and again that's you know eight by eight which is the same size as this so you could maybe pop that on there if you wanted to and then put this one on there and well you can can put this on but there's a you know a bit of a conflict so if i turn this around maybe let's see if i do that and then that that works well obviously that's the wrong way <laughs> but you know you get the idea so that's something you can do and that already gives it a different look yeah not too bad but if you don't want to just swap out the roof part you can take off the little flower bed section which is just held in with technic pins and of course you can take off the, this thing Again, held in by Technic Pin, so maybe you don't want that on there. You can pop the flower bed in there, you know. That will work as well. Ta-da! So you've got a nice little front garden space, maybe. Or if you don't want that, you could probably connect it to a road. So you can take off the front bit of garden. And then obviously you've got a tile there. And they do give you... And they do give you two additional 2x4 two dark grey tiles. So you can connect this further to road plates. So you can take off the ramp, pop in your tile, and then continue on your road. But then this is where it gets a little disappointing because I, when I was building this, I was expecting the whole car parking little garage space to be a separate module because it feels like it could be and it almost is, except it's connected in down at the bottom and at the top. So if you didn't have that, you could have this be a separate module, but then also it, the house and this are sharing a wall. So again, a few extra parts, they could have given the house its own wall. You know, you could have this as a separate thing, so you could put it on the other side, maybe, around the back, for example. So that's, yeah, because obviously you start taking this apart, you're just taking apart the set. So that's my big disappointment. I really was expecting that to be its own separate thing. Of course, you could rip off the road if you wanted to, and then maybe put this in. Will that work? Um... Well, not exactly, because then you've got weird gaps there. So yeah, the road plate isn't designed to come off from where it is in this set. But looking around, you can see some more plants growing here and the charging port for the electric car. So there are a few possible different combinations how you can move things, but it's mostly with the roof elements. I guess you could put this on top if you wanted to. But where this kind of idea really comes into play is in a couple of other city sets, which I'll be doing later on this week on the channel. So don't forget to subscribe for that, because they have a lot more different modules and once you put all these sets together the combinations well there's going to be a lot of them and i'm going to make a whole separate video just to show you some of the different combinations you can make with these three sets so that's this family house the apartment building and the downtown set put them all together and you could come up with a really cool thing for your lego city and here's just another combination i've come up with now kind of like it. it really extends out the length yeah pretty cool i think this set is an absolute winner to be honest with you so thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe 
Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to check out the other videos on this channel or on one of my other channels as well. And of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share with your friends.